Hi. Today we are going to explain how we do the POEM procedure. This is a patient with the type 2 Achalasia cardia and we are going to perform posterior uh, per oral endoscopic myotomy. So we are using Olympus uh, 190 HQ scope. The so patient is intubated and lying in the supine position. So here we can see the dilated esophagus and that's the tight G junction. So first we go to the stomach and aspirate all the secretions. And come back to the esophagus and again clean the esophagus. At 6 o'clock we can see the spine impression and when we come to the proximal part we can see the spine more prominently. So that's a sign there and for posterior poem we will start on the right side of the sign at 5 o'clock and for anterior we can start at the 1 o'clock. So in this session we are going to do posterior poem. So we will start around 10 centimeter proximal to the G junction. So G junction is at 38 centimeter. So first step is the injection. So we will inject on the right side of the spine. The needle should be out, then we go inside. So the area should be clean, we can see here the vessel through the mucosa, it is a clean mucosa. Then we first we go inside and then we will start pulling back the needle and injecting same time and inject and I will start on pulling and the moment we get a blab we will stop there and we use the up knob on the up down wheel. We will inject around 20 ml of acetylene which is stained with the indigo carmine. So we are injecting around 20 ml of the line. So now we can see it is a good blab. It is occupying at least 50% of the esophageal lumen. Next step is the incision. So first we make a hole in the mucosa up to the submucosal layer. So first we have to just touch the knife, knife out. Just touch the knife with the mucosa and we are using the force coagulation. Then you have to press on the knife and go deep deep and then lift and again initially coagulate and then cut. So we can see the blue appearance of submucosa. it means the depth is adequate. Then we again at the apex we go deep inside and then lift the knife and then again coagulate and then cut. So we are cutting in the anti-grade direction. Again, go below the apex, knife out and lift the mucosa and then cut. Initially coagulation, then cut. Now we will clear the fiber of the mucosa which are below the apex. With the coagulation current, just set the knife and use the coagulation. So fiber which are below the apex, we are clearing both fibers. You can see here, the, we are the fibers at the apex. Again touching the fiber with the knife and then using the coagulation current. I think we can try the, oh, yes, some more clearance is required I think at the apex. 
inject and then clean these fibers use the coagulation and clean the fibers now for the entry there is one trick we rotate the endoscope and bring it at 12 o'clock and then we engage both the margins I think we have to do more dissection to inject there. Again, clearing the fiber on the apex. Again, we can try engage both the margins. Yes, now glide and we can enter the now we are inside the channel inject more fluid and so on the right side is the muscle layer and on the left side is the mucosa now so our knife should be directed towards the muscle layer so inject we are keeping the line of dissection vertical and using the up and down knob So, it's a very essential to dissect on the sides also to get more width of the tunnel. So, on the right side we can see it's a muscle layer and on the left side is the mucosal layer. And we are keeping the line of dissection vertical, starting at one edge, we make a hole, then engage the fibers and then using the up nose, we are going in the other direction and cutting fiber very slowly and it's essential to dissect on the margins otherwise the tunnel will become narrowed and we can see tiny vessel there now again make a hole in the submucosa on one side engage the fiber and then go towards the other direction you see that we are moving towards the other direction and always the knife should be directed towards the muscle layer and we have to avoid the mucosal injury so right now you can identify the striations we can see the Strations on the muscle muscle layer. Again, we are cutting fiber on the side. We continue the dissection, and you can see that our knife is directed towards the muscle only. So again dissecting on the sides so we are moving with the shaft and up and down nodes we are we are not using or minimally using the left and right node mainly it's the shaft and the up and down node now it's getting narrowed so we have to inject more fluid so whenever there is narrowing in the tunnel we have to inject more fluid and dissect on the side you can see that we are dissecting on the side then moving towards the other side and poem should be done with the po2 only poem cannot be done with the air Inject. and we can see on the right side is the muscle layer and on the left side is the submucosa and the mucosal side again we are injecting fluid you can use either the indigo carmine or the vitrine blue we are using here indigo carmine
so one should avoid the deep injury to the muscle or the mucosa while creating a tunnel one should avoid the splitting of muscle layer at this stage so you can see that always our knife is toward the right side and right side is the muscle layer and we have to go till the joining of mucosa and the muscle layer again on one side we inject start from one side giving the fourth population we are making a hole engage the fibers and go to the other side so we have to repeat this step and each time you can see that we are stretching the fiber with the help of cap so whenever we have to set the fiber we have to do two things one is the pushing the scope so that it can stretch the fiber then we inject so two things pushing with the cap and then using the fluids then same step again make a hole in the submucosa engage the fibers go to the other side inject First, stretch the caps. I think we are midway through the tunnel. We are at thirty-five centimeters. Again, we can see. Muscle on one side, mucosa on other side. So sometimes due to the uh, smoke deposition uh, on the lens, the vision becomes blurred. So we have to keep on cleaning the lens. So there is very limited space for the. Smoke to escape, so that's why we have to keep on cleaning. Okay, inject and setting we use is uh, mainly for circulation. And whenever there is a bleed or we want to do hemostasis, we use the soap circulation. Out. And the accessory we use, we use TTJ needle knife. It's a TTJ. We can see the tip is triangular, and we can inject. It has jet function also. Now you can see there is a large vessel. So we'll use the other accessory, which is coagrafter. Zoom, zoom on this part. So this large vessel has to be grabbed with the coagrafter. Open. So once you grab it, we'll use the soft coagulation. And setting is voltage sixty and effect three. Open. we can see that it has become totally white then we cut the vessel open we cut with the cutting current endo cut q effect 2 duration 3 interval 3 last is the cut we can see the palisading vessels on the right side on the muscular layer it means we are still in the esophageal side again we inject more fluid then dissecting it
So again, we'll dissect on the fiber which are left behind. So it is very essential to dissect these fibers. Otherwise, the tunnel will become narrowed. So we we'll go from one side to other side. You can see our hand movement. We are rotating the shafts, moving in, moving out. So on the left side, make a puncture. Go in, use the uplop, and go to other side. Oh, there again, big vessel there. Out. So again, oh, it's a large vessel there. It means we are approaching the G junction. When we get such large vessels, we are approaching the G junction. So such large vessel, one should use the coir grass trap. So first we go inside. open and then we grab the vessel grab the vessel pull it back and then use the soap coagulation fix the wax and effect free once it becomes white we cut the vessel Here on the right side, you can see the muscle, left side is the submucosa and the mucosal layer. Inject fluid, more fluid, start from one side and then go to other side. Open. Index, start from one side, and one side, go to other side. You can see one more vessel there, out. So we have to separate fiber on the side of the vessel without traumatizing the vessel. Then again we have to use the coir grass work. We can see that we have isolated the vessel from both the sides. Again the same steps again. Use the coir grass work. Open. And coagulate till the vessel becomes white. And then use the cut current. Effect two, duration three, interval three. Now we are at 38 centimeter. It means we are very close to the D junction. Right side again palisading vessel. It means it's a visual side. Still it's a visual side. This here. Now the trick here is inject more fluid. Please inject more fluid. Otherwise there is risk of mucosal injury. And stay on the right side. Dissect the fibers. Dissect, dissect. Dissect the fibers. Dissect, dissect. Yeah. Again. Dissect the fibers. Get more fluid. Inject fluid. Again, dissect on the sides so that we have wider tunnel. Inject lift. Going from one side to another side. So it's the same step repeated. And we should be more towards the lesser curve. For that, we have to go more towards the right side. 
So seeing that if you are on the right, more on the left sucker side, you can avoid the reflux. Inject. Now you can see both the layers are very close. Put some vessel there. We will dissect here. We'll use the coil grasper again to prevent the bleed. Again the same step. Open. Grab the vessel and then toggle it. You can see some splitting of muscle on the right side. So one should take precaution not to enter inside the muscle layer. Otherwise there will be muscle layer on both the sides. The plane should be in the submicosa only. Move there. So it can be controlled with the force formation only. So again, some the dissection. Inject more fluids. So one has to be very careful at G junction. Inject. Separate the layers and Again, the golden root take close to the muscle layer. Now we can see there is some change in the vessel caliber. And now the vessel has also become large and spindle shaped. It means we have we are entering in the gastric side. Here suddenly the vessel density changes. You see a lot of vessel once you are on the gastric side. And we should be doing two or three centimeter myotomy on the two or three centimeter tunneling on the right side. So on the gastric side, the tunnel length should be around two to three centimeter. Again, some big vessel there. So we'll stay on the right side of these vessels. Definitely, we have crossed the G junction. Because the tunnel has become suddenly expanded. A sudden increase in the size of tunnel. And the, we are now seeing the spindle shaped vessel. Again we will use the soft coagulation. Whitening and then cut. Again, inject, inject, and then dissect. So we have to be very careful. There may be some hidden vessel there. Very carefully, cut fiber by fiber. And you can wrestle there, yes, avoid the vessel. So you can see number of vessels here. And that and that. So 
so I will show you again this is the narrowed area it is D junction and then we have entered on the gastric side I think we have entered towards the gastric side maybe 5 mm dissection more and then we are done with the dissection part using the coagulation current again post coagulation more vessel there grab the vessel pull the vessel and then coagulate again some vessel there you pull them away from the mucosa and then you coagulate so stay close to the muscle layer get more fluid more injection there Very careful direction required, very careful. Some bleed there, you have to see. Right out. I think we are done with the tunneling uh, tunneling part. There are some wounds there. We have to free the vessel and maybe some tiny vessel there which is black. This seems to be a very tiny vessel. We can use the tip of the coir grasper also. Okay. One more vessel there. Again, let it. I think there is no active bleed there. So we'll see the tunnel. So this is the outside part. So we'll remove the scope and clean the lens first. We are cleaning the lens with the horses and the water. Then we go inside. As we go to the stomach. So there is no emphysema one should keep on checking the for the air leak one should look for the airway pressure one should look for the co2 and clinically one should look for the pneumoperitoneum or surgical emphysema stomach is distended we will deflate the stomach so on the left side curve we can see the some bluish discoloration so it means that we have moved in the right direction toward the lesser curve and it's around more than two centimeters and we'll go back to the tunnel pull the scope back so that's the entry side so again should be at 12 o'clock Difficult entry because it's not a very dilated equator. 
Okay, yes. Yes. So that's it. And so we'll do the around 5 cm myotomy on the esophageal side. So that's the G junction, seems to be G junction. Pull back at around 38 cm. Pull back, now we are at 33. So we'll do 5 cm myotomy. So, we have chosen a side which is 6 cm proximal to the 5 cm proximal to the G junction of the high pressure zone, and then select an area which is the word of vessel. Maybe, yeah. Now, first thing is just touch with the knife again, force coagulation. Go in, 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 go in, go in, go in, then lift, lift, and cut, lift initial coagulation then you can cut okay so we have to still go deeper out knife out lift and cut lift coagulation and then cut so now you can see we are the transfer fiber six muscle layer go below it lift Coagulate, coagulate, coagulate. Last part, one can use the cut. Cut is faster. Now you can see two layers. One is the longitudinal below and the transfer above. Again the same trick. Coagulation, coagulation, coagulation. Then lift and cut. And we can see some spontaneous cutting of longitudinal layers that happen to put a very thin layer you can go below it you can see the advantage here below the longitudinal layer population cut mostly we end up doing the complete myotomy again below it population 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 and then cut 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 again below it so one trick here I want to explain. Some wounds there will apply the current with the tip. So our knife should be minimally outside the cap. You can see the knife is very close to the cap. So that gives a better control. Again, coagulation and then cutting. Knife out. Coagulation and then cutting. One can see the vessel below, go above the vessel and then lift, lift the muscle away from adventitia, last part, cut. Again start just below the muscle layer, lift the muscle and then use the initial population then cutting. Again, lift, 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 and then cut. Knife out below the muscle layer. Cut, 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 cut. Below the layer. So one has to be very careful avoiding the injury to the deep adventitia and the mucosal layer coagulation then cut cut so one should always look for the vessel you can see a vessel in adventitia so just stay above the vessel there then lift coagulate and then cut Again, we are deeper to the muscle layer, lifting it, lifting it, lifting it, and then cut. I think we are, it's a complete myotomy. Yes. Again, we can see the adventitia below. Lift it, lift. 
and then coagulate and then cut. We can see cut is very fast and very clean, but it can cause more bleeding. And here we can see the perigastric fat. Very carefully do the dissect, do the myotomy and bleed there and at the same time you can apply coagulation current with the knife only. Again, careful cutting, cutting, cutting. So this is the last part and we can see that we are directed more towards the left curve. Oh, some bleed there. So nothing to panic. Even if there is a bleed, one should control, one should complete the cut. Otherwise, the vessel will disappear. So whenever we are doing the myotomy and the bleed cut, don't panic and complete the cut. You can see some spurt there. The pick is go close. Then use the flushing pump. Approximate that area. Open the knife. Rotate. And then press it and grab the vessel. Now you can see the spurt there, open, grab it, grab it tight, now we can coagulate the vessel. It's very essential to locate the vessel and now you can see some bubbling effect. So don't panic, even if there is a bleed, don't panic, open, open, open. Clean that area and target the vessel in a proper manner. I think we have completed the myotomy. Okay, maybe last cut. And then right, you can see that whenever we are approaching the gastric side, the number of vessels, whether it's uh, around the muscle in the adventitia or the in the muscle layer, the number of vessels goes up. And the chances of bleeding is high on the gastric side. So one has to be very careful. I'm cutting the last part very carefully. Very carefully cutting the last part. And in there, out. Very carefully putting careful dissection last part. Yes. So that completes the uh, my atomy. Now we'll watch the tunnel and see for any vessel or ooze there. On the right side we can see it's a perigastric fat. Means we are onto the gastric side. Blood there, maybe the all the floppy blood or go to see this area. Seen some old blood without any active ooze. So it's around 5 cm myotomy on the epithelial side and 2 cm on the gastric side. So this is type 2 of media cardia, this patient should have 
relief of symptom after the poem. Blood in the ethereal side also. So the blood has likely come out of the tunnel into the esophageal lumen. It opened up G junction. You clean the lumen. Again, let's clean the lens and then we go again. Now we come to the last part that is closer of the tunnel. The first slip should be most distal, distal to the incision. Open and we should open, open, open. Rotate. Slip should be horizontal. And one should take okay. both the margins equally. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Press it down, suction, yes, fire. You see, both the margins have been equally taken in the clip. The first slip is distal to the incision. Hold it. Open. Rotate. Wait, wait, wait. Down fire. fire. That way. Yeah. Yeah. Now the third clip. So one should be very careful in taking both the margins. And same time we are taking the white cells, we are looking for the ETCO2 pressure. Or looking for the airway pressure, if the ETCO2 goes high, we have to remove the stroke and wait for few minutes. And if the airway pressure is high, it means some air has leaked into the mediastinum or the peritoneum. So we may have to do the needle paracentesis also. Last clip, I want to apply proximal first. Yes, fire. We have seen that we have inverted the margin, from the margin also. That will reduce the risk of fluid entering inside the tunnel. So we have inverted the proximal margin. That I think increases the safety of the meetings. There is some difficulty in applying the clips. I think that's uh, because of its uh, non dilated esophagus. Open. 
open then rotate horizontal flip position and then pull back pull back localize the area oh, hold it hold it hold it so everybody should be vigilant hold it hold it here yeah. you know and fire so again both the margins are there that completes the closer now we go inside again it's open v junction again bring the suction suck out all the fluid so that there is no problem during the extubation there is no risk of aspiration okay. we look for any mucosal injury which i don't think there is any mucosal injury pull back pull back some blending of mucus nothing to worry pull back pull back pull back and that's our incision it has been closed completely seems to be optimum closer yes in science we take out the oh. so that completes the poem procedure this portion will be extubated after around 5 minutes and then we do the gastrographin study tomorrow in our endoscopy room if there is no leakage of contrast inside the tunnel then we can start the liquid diet tomorrow thanks for watching this video